welcome back to my channel. If you guys do, make sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications. So as you guys know, I always try to be super happy and positive and be like a good positive example in this world. Bring some entertainment, some lightheartedness and stuff like that in my videos. But today I wanted to talk about something a little more serious and kind of vlog my day and just talk to you guys about what I've been struggling with. Um, if you guys didn't know, I've struggled with depression and anxiety for I don't even know how many years now. And last year it got really, really bad and I finally felt like I've been recovering and doing good and been happy but I don't even know what happened or when it started but I can feel myself falling back into a depressive episode and I really really don't want to but if you have depression or have ever gone through a depressive episode you know how hard it is to stop it when you see the signs and you like don't know what to do but for people who don't know what it's like I guess I can just explain a little bit why I think this started and like the signs basically like I don't know I felt like I went out to Utah and I was having a really good time but it also brought up like a lot of really hard feelings I guess and anxieties just because it reminded me of my past relationship and then I just felt like recently I've just been having a lot of anxiety and stuff and you know I feel like I'm starting to grieve a lot it's like I've gone through like the weirdest stages of you know going through a divorce and now I feel like I'm finally at the stage of like actually letting go and it is really difficult I didn't I don't know why this is happening now but I'm just trying to be honest with you guys and I, I feel like and now I'm gonna cry. I feel like every day has just been so hard recently, but I'm trying my best. Anyway, so I came back from Utah and then I had COVID. And so I literally was just at home in bed for two weeks. And I think this is kind of what kicked me into this depressive episode. Not only was I just at home in bed, I wasn't making any videos. I wasn't socializing with anyone. And it started to get cold outside. It's getting darker earlier. It's about to be daylight saving. So it's gonna be dark at like five o'clock. I like chilly weather. I like Christmas time. I like the holidays, but at the same time, cold puts me into seasonal depression. The holidays cause a lot of anxiety and stress for me for some reason. As much as I love them, I also hate them. I'm trying not to put pressure on it like I normally do, but honestly, it's really hard. I don't know why I do this to myself. But anyway, the signs of going of feeling myself getting all depressed again is like I literally struggle to shower like I think I showered yesterday maybe two days ago it's just like I have no motivation because why I'm not going anywhere I'm not gonna do anything I just want to lay in bed I have no motivation to get ready I have no motivation to film a video I have no motivation to finish editing videos which is usually something I'm super excited and passionate about uh, my house is literally a mess because I cannot find the strength in me to clean. Even just like getting ready to and turning on the camera was like really difficult. Uh, I can't sleep at night. I stay up pretty much all night and then I sleep in till two o'clock. As you guys saw, I showed the time when I was getting ready, it was 2.30. And I just wanna lay in bed and do nothing all day. And it's so bad. And it's like, I know that that's not good for me. But at the same time, I can't get myself to get out of bed and then I feel guilty for not getting out of bed. So it's just a vicious cycle and I'm really, really trying to break it. And I've been doing just a few little things every day to try to get myself there. Yesterday, it was raining, but I went to the grocery store because I had been like uber eating food and that was really bad. Eating really bad for me, obviously not gonna be good for my mental health or anything. I completely stopped my little fitness kick that I was on and it makes me feel really bad about myself because I was so motivated to do that, but I did have COVID so I literally couldn't and then I just haven't gotten back into it. So today, I really wanted to go yesterday but it was raining all day. So today I'm hoping to get back out and go on my walks. I think getting out, getting some vitamin D, especially when it starts getting cold and in the winter time is gonna be so essential for me. Um, last night I had some friends over so much fun socializing obviously very good for me and this might be stupid but the new call of duty comes out tonight i don't know when this is going to be posted but the new call of duty comes out tonight and it's nice to have something to look forward to so there was just a little bit of a rant to ramble i don't know but i just i don't know i guess i'm trying to be more open honest and vulnerable with you guys so i've been struggling to stay consistent posting the last little bit and i'm gonna try my best to get back in the swing of things and some of you might say oh take a break if you need it but like if i take 
take a break, it'll make things worse. Like if someone tells me, oh, it's okay to miss a post because you know, you're, strugg you're struggling mentally, then I'll start missing two posts, three posts, four posts, then I'm not posting and then I'm not doing anything and then I'm just laying in bed. So although that might sound like a good solution, it's actually a way worse solution <laughs> because YouTube for so long has been my outlet. It's been my passion, my outlet, my motivation. It, I feel like I just, it's like my child. <laughs> and so when I'm not doing it, it literally makes things worse. So even if it's not a video, I, I want to stream or something. Like I just love interacting with you guys and being on camera. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain why that's like something that helps me, but it is. Anyway, I think that's enough of me rambling. So I guess let's do stuff today. Honestly, something that is like not helping me at all is I'm really stressed about this month because it's like there's Thanksgiving. Am I going home? Am I not? Am I driving? Am I gonna fly? And then I have all these brand deals this month that I feel like are all due on the same day and I'm getting really stressed about it. So I am going to get in my calendar here and actually plan things. This makes me feel so much better when I actually plan. Planning, so important. So I have this big old planner. I can't believe the year's almost over. I literally remember ordering this 2021 planner on Amazon in january and the other day i was like i don't really like my planner i should buy a new one and i was like holy crap the year's almost over like i don't need to get a new one because i'm gonna need a new one in a month two months <laughs> how did this year go by so fast this has by far been the craziest year of my entire life that is for sure okay i just finished writing everything down and it wasn't even like as crazy or as stressful as i thought this would be like actually writing it down completely relieved my stress now the real kicker is if i can actually do things that i'm supposed to and i really won't be stressed i just zoned out let's go outside shall we i just made it to the park and i stopped at starbucks and i got hot coffee this is literally so good it's just what i normally get but hot instead of cold and they got the christmas cups which actually like brightened my mood so much i was listening to christmas music on the way here i don't care if you think it's too early i think it's a vibe and it warms my soul Anyway, I'm going to go on a walk now. Okay, I just got back from my walk. I literally forgot to take any videos of me on my walk, but honestly, I feel so much better just going on a walk, getting outside, getting in the sun. It was pretty chilly, so it was only like a 20 minute walk because my face was getting really cold. But now I'm home and I just did the dishes, cleaned up from my friends are here and threw my leftover wing stop in the oven. So I feel like I'm already feeling better today, feeling more productive, and I have a little bit of motivation to like do stuff. Crazy. I just took a shower and shaved my legs. It's already 6 p.m. But I guess that's what happens when you get ready at 2 p.m. I am feeling much, much better. I'm already starting to feel like that kind of motivation coming back. Just like a day of like really trying to commit to like, I'm gonna edit a little bit of a video and then I don't know what else I'm gonna do today. Coming soon for a video, I'm actually gonna do waking up. I can't say 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. I feel like 6 a.m. would be early enough, but like doing a 6 a.m. morning routine for a week, and I also feel like that would be a good chance for me to get back into like a normal sleep schedule, getting good amount of sleep every night, waking up early, and then getting a workout in, going on a walk, all that stuff. So, coming soon, if I actually do it. <laughs> this is like almost embarrassing to say, but I just spent the last two hours on my phone. I didn't do any editing because I just didn't have any motivation to do it and like I just can't I can't get myself to do it and it's a difficult video to edit one that I really don't want to do but I love the video and I love the idea I just don't want to edit it <laughs> and now I'm really sad I don't know why I just want to sit here and listen to sad music that's not gonna help me but I'm probably gonna do it anyway I'm literally on the verge of crying like every five seconds but I don't think I've showed this side of me like ever before on YouTube. I just, when I'm about to cry, I just have to zone out so I don't. And usually if I'm about to cry and there's someone around me, I'll just start laughing because I don't like crying in front of people. So you're telling me that Sunday it's going to be this dark? It's 8 o'clock. It's going to be this dark at 5 o'clock starting Sunday. Like, my apartment already doesn't get very good lighting, so rip. It's the next day. I am in a really good mood today, actually. I went on a walk again today. I went for an hour and a half and it was really good. It was 64 degrees out today, which is like my favorite temperature, like that like mid to upper 60s, 70s-ish. 
like chilly weather very much a vibe today I loved it um, and it put me in honestly such a good mood and sometimes I forget how important vitamin D is and just getting outside so if you're also uh, feel yourself getting depressed and going through the motions get outside I know it's like a small thing but it honestly at least for me it helps so 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 much and just like trying to like go on a walk and just think about like the positive good things about life and like what I'm looking forward to and stuff like that definitely helped a lot and listening to positive music all yesterday I was listening to like sad music and it definitely wasn't helping I know how hard it is to get stuck in that cycle of like Netflix and sad music and watching TikToks for hours and not taking care of yourself but it does take effort to feel good and I know it sucks trust me if anyone understands I understand how much it sucks and how hard it is to put in that effort when you're going through it but it's worth it so hopefully this can be a little bit inspiring and make you feel okay like if you are going through it it's okay it's okay to not be okay you know let yourself feel bad a little bit but then you gotta get back up and get going because life is worth living I promise all right better things are coming so I had a rough couple of Honestly, it was probably like, I don't even know how long. I was starting to feel really bad. And I might feel good today and I might feel bad tomorrow. I mean, anyone who else who has depression knows that it is literally a daily battle. And when you wake up, you kind of have to like put in a lot of effort to feel okay every day. You know what? That's okay. I'm learning to deal with it and live with it and trying to make life more fun for myself. I don't know if any of that made sense. I guess this is just your reminder to not give up and that I know what you're going through and you're not alone because I know what it feels like to feel all alone, but I promise you're not, okay? Anyways, I love you guys so much. I'm gonna end this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm gonna start my daily habits to get me into a good mindset again, starting today with my hour and a half walk. Love you guys, bye.